What's up everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna explain and just to follow a request how you can enter chart editor. Yeah, how you can make you know your own charts and stuff. So I have right here by site engine 0 0.62 or something like that. I forgot which exact number it is. It's the one where you can put as much keys as possible. And the 0 0.6.1 is the one where you have like up to 9 keys or 11 keys, I think. Anyway, so when you pause, that's it. Just go chart editor. But we're going to get a little deep with the chart editor to know exactly some of the things it does. It's a really cool thing. Of course, it's what I use for charts. So you begin with this interface. It might seem confusing, but all right. So let's just go through the basics. One of the most important things you got these arrows, right here, to move up and down, and right here to go through sections. And you click on X to go with this. And right, right here you have. I don't know what these things are. You can go with the waveform from instrumental. And you get the waveform for voices. For example, you go. Oh yeah, this whole song is just an instrumental. So for example, you have. You have. In case you have an instrumental OGD file and voices OGD file, then you should enable this has voice track. I guess or else, uh, this whole thing won't work. So you have instrumental volume, voices volume. You can adjust them here. You can mute the instrumental or the vocals. Let's see with the instrumental. As you can see, you can't hear anything, as you can hear, not you see. So right here you can also, I don't know why this exists, but you can play the opponent notes, which I really don't use. Left, right, left, it goes right. like this. Yeah, I don't know, I find this very, very useless. Anyway, so, you can disable auto scroll. What is auto scroll? For example, I'm going right here, and it automatically goes boom to the next section. And if I disable that... See, it's not, it's not recommended. It keeps going like this. I don't know, I hate it, but I sometimes accidentally activate it. So now we're done for this place. Now we go to the events, which is the most exciting part. For example, you have, you just click right here, event. And right here, you select. You normally don't have that much, but let's go for some, through some important ones. So try to change character. Let's say you want to change BF, right? Or, I mean, the opponent, right? You just click one. And then you replace by the character, for example, let's replace with, I don't know, Pico, I think. Is there Pico? You gotta check right here, in case there's Pico. There we go, there's Pico. Let's replace opponent with whom? With Pico. If you wanna replace girlfriend, you go with two, I think. And yeah, and let's go through some uh, available things. Let's go with monster, I haven't, wait, no, no, no. Let's just go with one flat files. Let's go with, uh, I don't know, uh, Con B and stuff. Let's go right here. You get con B and self. If you wanna, okay, this randomly froze. Oh yeah, if you, if you, if you keep this open, everything will freeze for some reason. And right here, let's re just replace. You know, BF. I don't know. I'm just gonna write BF. I think if you write anything else, BF will automatically be replaced. Let's replace him with mom and self. All right, so. Uh, this is, I guess, it for the. And you also, let's go through some other things. Uh, for example, you get, uh, let's go with, another thing which I quite sometimes use is uh, change scroll speed, which is self-explanatory. Let's go multiplier. Let's multiply it by two. And the time it will take two seconds. Let's go right here and put, I don't know. I normally don't put that much stuff, but I'm just showing you, you know. You got green s screen shake. If the first number is the duration, you know. So let's make it last for two seconds, and let's make it quite a heavy one. Let's go 0 0.1 for example. See, normally it's uh, well, not really a heavy one right here, as you can see. And next thing, also let's go with uh, something else, such as add camera zoom right here, as you can see. So it just goes like a, like a little boom for such with the M.I.L.F. song of um, the Mommy Mirrors and stuff. You just uh, see that. It's sudden little zoom and stuff. Anyway, let's not uh, take too long for the events. Now let's go to what? Uh, note! The actual notes themselves. What the hell? I can feel me! <laughs> so moving on, you get notes. 
Alright, so you can put right here, right here, normally, it just, you can just click on one block, and I don't know, sometimes you can put a lot, sometimes you can barely put four, a distance of four arrows between one and one, I don't know, it's all random, so let's go just randomly put, you know, because mostly you're here for spamming, so let's just make your wish come true and stuff, let's just boom, 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 like this, and keep a note, this is a low BPM, so it won't really be that spammy, Okay, let's go boom 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 boom. Yes, it's that painful. I know there's no shortcut for this All right, so before you think about adding the down and left arrow I got happy news for you you go to section you go copy section It's to cut it's to self-explanatory you clear it then you paste section mirror notes Basically left becomes right up becomes down and you paste again kawabunga you saved yourself a lot of effort also, for note, there's the other stuff which I barely use. Sometimes you want to make a, a hurt note, you know, like tricky, with tricky and stuff. Let's go like this. And the opponents can click them, by the way, you know. No problem for them, yeah. And you got GF Sing. Oh, I forgot, it's this combi who is, uh, you know, a mobile character. Or you can go no animation, just, just screw animation. The player won't move at all, <laughs> and stuff. I don't use these at all, like, they're very useless for me. Now you go with one of the things I had, I wish I had known earlier, which is the must hit section and stuff. So for example right here, if you get must hit section is true, then that means the camera will look at BF. If you disable it, it will look at uh, the opponent, aka DF. Or you can just enable GF section, as in DF6 for that part and the camera is specifically shown at her. No matter if you do must hit or the mustn't hit section, it doesn't really change anything. And right here, you can change the BPM in case you want to make it lower or higher. Just for this, not just for this specific section. The whole song will change. The whole BP the BPM of the whole song will change, and it's usually zero or just the BPM you have. Also, let's say you want to copy a section. Let's say this one. You can either just copy the offense alone or the notes alone. Just uh, click on one of these. That's it. Like uh, depending on if you want both or something like that. And also, you have swap section if you want to. You know, self-explanatory and stuff. And one of the things I also... Uh, oh, wait, uh, another thing. Let's, uh, let's put random notes right here. You can also do duet notes. So you don't really have to keep copying and copying. Again, more notes. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And stuff. Also, another thing which I wish I had known for so much is the copy last section. Which is self-explanatory. But there's also an advanced thing about it. Left. Right. Like, let's say right here. Normally, this is the distance of one section. Right here is the distance of two sections. Just add plus two. Boom, you got the section before the last one duplicated. And you can keep adding the number. Flash. Man, it just really helps with Bambi fan songs because, you know, they're mostly repetition and stuff. And, yep, we come to almost the end. You can increase the BPM in case you want, but I don't want to screw everything up. You can also add a song speed in case you want to make it unfair and or impossible. Usually I do like 3, 3. Point, uh, no, 3 point five, four, which is not really normal, but you can put like 3 or something like that. And right here, you can change, you know, player or DF or opponent. You can keep adding, depending on how many files you have. Normally, if you don't really have anything, you just stop at, uh, at this point, kind of. Just Pico player or something like that. You don't have much. Stage... Also, uh, self-explanatory, you go, this is pixel, cool, you know, the pixel, oh no, this is like, uh, spooky and stuff. No, I'd rather, I'd rather, this is, I don't know. Let's go with one of the things I have, or not. Let's go mall. And that's also pretty much it. And in case, let's say, you want, you don't want all this effort to go to waste, right? Don't you dare forget to save this big, this small button right here is so important. And also you have, you can save events, I, I already forgot that exists and I don't use it. You can also, in case, uh, let's say you just made a save and you went to another song, and uh, let's say you want to just load your save, right? Just click on the load auto save. Also disclaimer, if you make, start working on a new song, if you save it and if you want to auto load auto save, it won't save the, the previous one, it will save the last one you did, it won't save that. Anyways, before I keep talking for too much, too long. Alright, now going back to these buttons. Let's say, you wanna put more notes in between, right? Let's put, for example, test. Put these. You click on C. 
you see now you can put more notes boom if you go back if you want to go back you click z and there you go and also a very dangerous button which i advise you don't click by any means possible is b because it just makes you lose the whole progress so v what is it for you just go back up like this what is d for i have no idea what is y for i don't know why it is here anyways and let's just save and test our messed up song let's see tutorial but uh, way better <laughs> you just click on a Three, two, as you can one, see right here everything's changed boom the character is changed congratulations to us boom spam fast speed all right, right, just sudden zoom. Left, right. As you can see right here, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. I really forgot the stage of this. I don't know what's up with the zooms. I think that's normal. But normally you don't have 200 HP like this. But okay, let's say you want to go back, right? It goes. Chart editor, and there's also this useful thing called skip time, which is self-explanatory. You just skip time if you can, or you just want to end song or practice mode because you don't want to die. Change difficulty. Go back to chart editor. Leave charting mode, which I don't know what it does. Or you can restart song, and in case you want, just exit. And that concludes it with the debug menu tutorial. I hope this helped you and good.